right, everybody, it's actually a new day. Uh, a little colder today than it was yesterday. Cloudy. Not sure what the weather's going to bring me. Anyway, uh, we're getting back to the patrol here. And uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is see about getting this ignition apart so that we can uh, put some power to this thing. Let me flip you around here and I'll show you what I got going on. Alright, I already took the ring off of it. We're going to get that out of there because I don't have a key. Uh, so that's just going to be taking out these Allen bolts so I can get to behind the panel. And that will tell me what wiring issues I might have. I do have this lawnmower ignition. And since it's got a push button on it, I should be able to use this. So we'll uh, see what's behind there and then we'll decide what we need to do. All right, I'll get into it, and I'll bring you back whenever I know something. Well, that didn't take long at all. Uh, yep. I think I might have owned this thing once. I don't know, I'm seeing a lot of redneckery. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go with the hot wire this thing method. Um, because we're not getting any power from this wiring system. There's a lot of chewed up wires, a lot of, uh, yeah, just nastiness. So we're going to get rid of the bare bones and see if we can't get her to fire off, and then we'll worry about the wiring if it runs. Uh, but I'll flip you around here and I'll show you some of the neat little things we found in five minutes. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got this panel off of there, and I pulled the ignition down and out, and, uh, you know... Speaker wire, mm-hmm, yep. Another wire over here, added. These aren't factory wiring. Uh, I think yellow wire might be the only one. Okay, so, yep, there's that. Uh, there's this mess here, mm-hmm. Not sure what that was running, but it ain't running anything no more. Uh, we'll just stick a fuse in there. That, that's good. Um, uh huh. Oh yeah. Look at it. It, it gets better. All right, then let's go over here under the hood. So um, here's our extension cord. Yep. It comes down here and runs into power for the voltage regulator. Okay. We got that figured out. And then. Down in here, here's our two purple leads that I haven't figured out what they do yet. Uh, you know, but they're there. Uh, this goes to power to the distributor. So that one's easy. Uh, what we need is, oh, and then down here. Fuel delivery could be an issue when the pump's looped back to itself. Does give me hope that maybe this pump was spitting all over itself. I mean, we do have, you know, we do have the good old fire happener, you know, guaranteed to burn your rig to the ground at some point. And we don't think that's hooked to anything. It just kind of stuck down into, yeah, but that's fine. So I think if we put a little go juice in the one side of that, we might be able to make the other side happy and get some juice up to the carburetor. Uh, but we ain't going to worry about that right now. So I think the first step to do this thing, you know, because I have all the plans in the world here, let's get these bark plugs yarned out of there, run the bore scope into it, see if we even have an engine worth playing with and then we'll go from there and then we'll pop this cap off see what kind of loveliness we got going on in there and then we'll go find a battery and um, uh, put some juice to this thing and see if we can't roll it over so in case you didn't know the Nissan Patrol you look right down here. See that little hole? Yep, it's a Model A. 
See the little button on the end of the crank? Yes, you can hand crank this engine. It's got a whopping seven and a half compression. So, uh, if it does roll over, it's going to roll over really easily. But I think we start with, let's get these plugs out, bore scope it, dump some ju happy juice down it so that we can get those rings freeing up while we're doing other things. And then we'll go from there. Ooh, yeah. She died. Ain't been out in a minute. Look at that. She got the old split fire SF6Es on there. Burning richer than Donald Trump. Look at that. Yeah. Well, she was getting all the fuel last time she was running. Mm hmm. Well, let's see what we get down there. Let's go get the bar scope. There we go. Let's go take a look down this hole. What's in there, rabbit? Uh huh. Ooh. Okay, that gives me hope. I'd show you guys, but it's going to be hard to see. We got some crosshatch still in the cylinder. Uh, she looks pretty clean. I'm not seeing any kind of major crap down there that worries me. Uh, this one's down. Uh -huh. Wow, I can see the fire ring on it. And, uh, a good half inch inside this cylinder that doesn't get used. So up in the compression would just be a matter of putting some longer rods in there. Uh, but that makes me happy. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, we'll go ahead and stuff some of that free all down in there because you know. Why not? Give her a liberal, liberal coating. There we go. Moving on. Let's see. Okay, so that's number one. I'm just going to stick that boot in there. So we can remember where it's at. Moving on. They're kind of at a length that you can't mess them up. So, 
not a big deal. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. They put all the torque on them. He did not want them out. I'm working here. I see some silicone coming out of this valve cover gasket. Tells me it's been off once. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of other things that say, you know, rocker cover doesn't look like it's ever been pulled. Again, no evidence of moisture, just running rich. That's all we're finding so far. So, that is uh, a good thing. But since we got it, let's run the bore scope down it. Take a look in this one. This one, pistons up. Got the normal flaky carbon. Uh, you know, I don't see anything in there that uh, makes me go, holy crap, valves are closed. Uh, that one's open, but it, it may have a little debris on the top of it. We're going to find that out when we go to try and start it. But overall, not bad. I've seen worse and made worse run. So, let's go ahead and... Give her a liberal little gushing. Just to help her out. I'm going to probably have to get another can of that. Right. Moving on. So let's see. If it's got split fire plugs in it, that means somebody did something during the 90s, right? Because that's when that was the whole craze. You can make it run better. Put some split fires on it. Yes, sir. Okay, typical of an inline six. This one's running a little bit leaner, but that's kind of normal on an inline. Your center cylinders tend to run a little bit on the lean side. Uh, a little debris down in there. Yep. Again, not seeing anything that. Terrifying. Let's go ahead and take a look down this cylinder. Hello? Anybody home? What we doing down there? Again, we got some good cross hatching. Uh, there's the piston. Oh wow, this thing's gonna run good if I can get her to run on this distributor. So that'll be our Huh? A little bit of scoring on that cylinder wall. Something was rubbing. But it don't look deep enough to... I mean, I still see cross hatching. So, yeah, she's in good shape. 
Might be a little lighter on compression on that one, but we'll, we'll check that maybe some other day. But at the moment, not a worry. Oh yeah, let's just get that all over the place and don't get any in the hole. There we go. plugs through for about 30 minutes to my uh, while we do other things uh, through the ultrasonic just to give them a bath and see if we can't make them want to fly yep okie dokie Again, not as rich as the other ones. Uh, like I said, center, center bank. That's a common thing. Now what do we got in there? Looks like that valve might be burnt. Again, we'll find that out later. But rust is not an issue. We are in good shape there. That makes me happy. Get you another can of Frio. So do you like a dumpster fire? and lots of carbon. She's gonna smoke a little. to this back one back here. Uh, maybe a little 
little bit of lightning escaping that wire. It's got a little mouse bite to it. But I think it'll be good enough to run this pig. But if it gets a little pop, we know where it's coming from. Well, one of the many places it can be coming from. Mm -hmm. And that's weird. That plug wire, that plug is loose. Yeah. All the rest of them were smoked down to Georgia. Soot, soot, soot. All right. Let's get down in there. Get down on it. Same as everything else, just a little bit of carbon buildup, some good cross hatch, shelves look good. Tops of the cylinders look good. Yeah, we'll go with it. some lubed oh yeah give it all take it take it yes there's that Alright, I pulled this cap off of here while I was waiting around. Look at this wonderfulness. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, the other issue I have is that I don't have a distributor for the, or a coil for this thing. Um, I don't even have an extra one around. I used it on my last wheel run. But, uh, I'm going to pop these points I don't know if I want to pop these points out of there I doubt I can find these points and they are making contact and look fairly clean like maybe I should just leave well enough alone uh, I think we will for now if we have an issue we'll come back to this because uh, I don't like playing with distributors. So, there is that. Anywho, if I do make it run on this, and I do have to keep this, uh, Pertronics is in its future. Just because. Okay, well, I just thought you guys liked to see that. Okay, well, I cleaned up the distributor best I could. Um... Still got the plugs out of it. Uh, had to pull this panel in order to be able to get this battery in there. It's much bigger than we need. But it's there. Um, so, moment of truth, y'all. I haven't hit it, so I don't know. We hooked up our trigger button to the starter. And, what do you say we find out? Roll her over a couple times. If she'll do it. Ready, set, go. That's a spinning. Alright. That means that uh, if we can get ignition and gas to her, she'll run. So let's put these plugs back in. Uh, I may have to do a part two on this because I do not have a coil here. I went looking all over 
and uh, I can't find one so I may have to go buy a coil so um, that being said um, this might have to wait a, another day or two uh, just because of the old finances but anyway um, I will keep going here and get these plugs back in see how she cranks look at the alignment on that Woo! beautiful isn't it yep that that's that looks like Chevy disease to me anyway we'll look at that later that's the least of our problems all right y'all I'm gonna sign out for today we're gonna leave this one off here and we will come back to it tomorrow good morning YouTube all right well we're back at it we're gonna try and get this thing running today so got some parts got some pieces we're gonna see what we can do. See about getting this thing to get some spark. Uh, we bought a coil, some wiring, got an electric fuel pump put in. So we got a little bit of stuff to do, uh, but I'm pretty confident we can make this thing fire. So uh, let me show you what we got. All right, so, you know, I'm redneck. I just needed some wire, and in case you hadn't noticed, wire's gotten expensive. So just a cheap wiring kit for you know a trailer that gives me some wire got multiple strands we got a coil mounting bracket we've got a mighty fine Heldebrock max fire that ought to get us going uh went and pulled the distributor or coil wire off of another vehicle so yep that one won't run no more and then we're gonna try and make it fit to this mess here because this coil wire had that style on it and I don't have a coil for that so there's that and then uh, over here we got the jug of love and we got a little clickety clack and we'll get her plugged into that and uh, that should give us some go juice and uh, see if we can't make this thing make some more noise what do you say? We get into it. Garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Get that off of there. Come on. No fight. That's interesting. I have no idea how those work. That's a, okay. So you make a little scruff there and a little bit of that there and uh huh. So that's how that works. Interesting. For the sake of intrinsic science, can I just stick that down in there? That's a big negative. Okay. So, let's push that up. We get our cutters.
Okay, what's that? And you gotta put the little gizmo o ring thingy majigger on there. I've never done one of these before. Gotta have that at the right height. Okay. Yep. And then what I saw. Don't mind that noise in the background. That's just my dog. Strip a little bit of this away. Slides down to there. Uh -huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're going to call that what they had. Uh, oh, I got it backwards. Well, okay, let's slip this back. Well, No, I was right. I was correct. Second guessing myself. You know what happens there. Okay, let's flip that back up there. Push down in there, like so, and we tighten the thingy around the thingy to the doom hover. Yep, that's all redneck talk. Mm -hmm. No idea if I did this right or not, but it is what it is. I think it'll work. Okay, let's get this cap put back on for the 15th time. And, uh, yeah, I'm guessing what's what, because I didn't mark this cap. That's number one, okay? It's got a little... There. See it? See it right there? A little mark. We're calling that number one. Uh, well, I guess we'll know when we get it. When we're gonna try to fire it. If she kicks me in the carburetor. So if you're doing this before you go get it all excited like I did and tear it off, if an engine you don't know, probably you should mark where your number one is at least. I just thought I had all of these staying in the right order. Well now I've had it on and off, on and off, and I don't remember where they go. So we're going to just guess and hope we're right.
the good news is the previous owner did cut to length plugs wires and so they're you know they're only going to make it to certain places so and I have you know, if I'm wrong it's only going to be by a little bit so we'll know it'll tell us they never lie they know what they want and they'll do it so, okay you two go back there remember you okay Swoopy swoop. You're gonna go there. Alrighty, now, where can we mount you? You're going to be kind of, sort of, out of the way, but grounded, and we only got so much wire here.
get some flat washers. tools. Getting in my butt. Good enough. Cause it ain't gonna stay there.
Does the thing a thingy? All right. So yeah, that ought to leak nicely, but we'll find out. And then uh, some little bit of two stroke, just so that the valves will have some uh, lubrication. So I'm gonna put you back on the stand over here. Uh, get my wife out here to run the other end of things, and uh, we'll see if we can't make her fire. What do you think? Alright everybody. Let's see. We got gas up to her, but I don't have the fuel pump on right at the moment. Let's get our trigger. And give her a little, little sniff of this. And let's see what happens. <laughs> Yes, sir. She's definitely got some kind of spark. Okay, that tells me we got a firing order issue, uh, which we were afraid of. Let me do a little bit of research on that and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, I found a firing order and uh, not even close. So, Let's get this on number one. Oh, I guess I better hook up a battery. Alright, let's stick a finger in here. Probably should have done all this beforehand, but what would be the fun in that? It would be more fun to watch the fireball come up top of the carburetor. But it gave me hope. She will live, I think. It means that we got points that are working. And uh, an ignition system that is working. So I get the right orders here, and uh, yeah, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to have this thing running in a little bit, under its own oopa. Which will be interesting. Okay. So, number one is over there. Alrighty then. Which means if I do this, yeah. Okay, that's that's looking a little better. That's, that makes that number one. Okay. 
Let's put that screw back down in there. Now, I'm not saying that the firing order is going to be right, but now it should be where they had it. If that makes any kind of sense. Uh, but, we will go through it one more time. I think I'm going to go find a marker and mark this cap. What's the worst that could happen? What could possibly go wrong? Um, to quote Jimmy. I don't know which way this thing rotates. One, five. Four. Six. Three, two. Gotta shut this off so I can see if I got that right. Alright, well, we ran through that firing order. And, uh, I think we got her. I'll bring you in here and show you what we did. Because, really, it doesn't matter too much, but I think I got it. Okay, what I had was that the distributor, I had number one over over here. I've now rotated it. Number one is now back here. Based on the rotor inside the distributor. Um, I'm believing that it turns this way. Because that's what it matches to. So, here is one five, uh, three, six, six, two, and four, which is what the firing order I found on the internet. So, hopefully, that means we have fire in the cylinder, not out through the top of the carburetor. So, let's hook this all back up, and, uh, Let's see what she tells us. She'll let me know if I'm wrong. Alrighty, let's, let's see what she says. I'm going to start with what's already been poured down her throat. Give her a little choke. That plug was wet. Let's see what she tells us. <laughs> Holy crap! That's 
just running off what's in the bowl. I haven't put any fuel to her. She'll die here in a minute. Holy crap, go ahead and unhook that, babe. Holy crap. That thing, I don't even think she got a full revolution before she went kapooey. Oh my goodness. Right <laughs> Way to go. In case you can't tell, I'm happy. Uh, Sounds good. Yep. Carburetor needs work. Accelerator pump shot. Vacuum leaks. Yep. Got them. Uh, I got the accelerator completely disconnected on the inside the truck because this is jammed up. I'll tear it apart. Uh, Didn't hear any exhaust leaks. No, she sounded good. No lifter caps, no shakes, no... Wow. Well, sounded yep. like she was ready to go down the road. Yep. So I think um, even though we have some fuel leaking things going on, I'm going to hook up the pump so she'll run a little bit longer. And uh, maybe even see if I can't push this clutch in and make it move forward and back. I know I can't go far because I got a wheel bearing issue. But holy crap, it runs. And it ran really good. Like, I don't even know if I should yank it out of here. Uh, mm -hmm. I just got to figure out some things about it. But, yeah, we, we've got a live one here. She lives! It's the runner. Hey y'all, there you go. She's a runner. She cracked off so fast it actually startled me. I did not expect her to pop and fire that quickly. I expected to do a little more playing around with it. Um, oh. Um, hang on, I'll, I'll show you what I'm looking at down there in just a minute. Annie Who's. She runs. Runs actually pretty damn good. Um. It's, oil. yeah, I know it's oil, dear. Uh, I just got to figure out where it's coming from. We got a lake started underneath the truck. Yeah. Um, it cracked right off so fast that it actually did. It startled me. A little bit of tap it noise, but that's in line six crap. Um, I'd have never heard one that was completely quiet in the valve train. So, you know, there's that. Uh. But we're going to leave this one off here. I got some more uh, looking around to do and uh, figure out what's going on. I don't dare put it in gear because I have zero brakes. I don't really want it in the garage and I don't want it going out into the street. So, you know, there's that. Plus, I don't have any way to sit. Let's get this tidied up a little bit before we do try and see if we can make it go and stop. Do a little bit of bashing and crashing on this uh, master cylinder. See if we can't fix that. But that's for another video. Uh, so right now, uh, hit that like and subscribe and, uh, oh, well, before we do that, let's, uh, come around over here, I'll flip this around. Oh, jeepers, we do have Exxon Valdez going on. All right, let me show you what we got. Yeah, she, she puked her guts out at me. Um, where is that coming from? Let's get down here and take a look. Oh. Uh, 
I'm going to say we have a rear main seal bad. Where's that differential? What is that? Where's that coming from? It's somewhere in the clutch area. So either front of the transmission. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's oil. That's coming out of the way. So we got a rear main seal bad. And I mean bad. Okay, so, well, we got to deal with that. Because that's a lake. Interesting. Okay. Well, on that note, um, we're going to probably have to yank this motor out of here. Uh, just because. Uh, I was hoping not to. Right, for right at the moment. I was hoping to try and make this drivable on what's there. Uh, I'll figure that out later. Um, anyway... Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below what you want me to do with this thing. I have a plan. Uh, you know, you guys tell me. What do you think? Should I go for it and uh, tear all this running gear out from under it? Put a uh, small block Chevy in it and a T98 that I have laying around and uh, an MP205 transfer case with Dana 44s and a Chevy 10 bolt. What do you think of that plan? I mean, uh, all stuff I can get parts for. So, you guys comment down below. Tell me what you think. All right. Y'all be safe out there. Do redneck things. Have a lot of fun. Uh, it ain't dead till it don't run no more.